Hello everyone and welcome back to De-Influenced where my goal is to challenge you guys to think critically about where you're currently spending your social media currency by digging deep into influencer culture, calling them out and holding them accountable for their crappy behaviors. Today I have an update video for you guys. We are talking about the one, the only vegan Riz, the most controversial TikTok tyrant to exist because naturally as the most controversial per person as the most controversial person oh my gosh i can't say it controversial person there we go on tiktok she's up to something again so we're gonna talk about it let's go guys Adriel Sigler, a name that is no stranger to controversy, recently decided to hit the town for a night out, leaving her children home alone. And this comes on the heels of her son's recent accident, which reportedly, allegedly, she claims was horrific and life-threatening in true Adriel form. Now, as a parent, you think that there'd be a little bit more concern involved a little bit more hey my kid just had a life-threatening injury maybe I shouldn't go out tonight but no no priorities are completely backwards with Adriel as per usual and not only this but she is allegedly over dramatizing again injuries that her son sustained took him to the hospital again which if your kid is hurt take them to the hospital yes of course but to say that it's life-threatening when it's not, is too far. And she made sure to tell people that she was really concerned about the costs and about whether or not insurance was going to cover this medical expense for her son, which I don't know how health insurance works in the States, but why wouldn't it be covered? If he got injured, I haven't looked into it. Not even what we're talking about. Just something else that happened. Okay, so really letting people know, her followers know that she's hard up for cash. But let's not forget her $17,000 month and her $30,000 GoFundMe for moving. Now, I don't care who you are. We've discussed this in the previous Adriel videos. It does not take $30,000 to move anywhere. It just doesn't. Unless you're being dumb and making poor decisions, then maybe, sure, you can rack up easily to $30,000. But in general, no. And, uh, I don't believe you. But the main focus of today's video is the fact that this woman is so unapologetically classless and trashy. It's wild to me. It is completely outrageous in my humble opinion, I guess I should say. Because in my opinion, a 33-year-old woman should not be out at a bar getting smashed and going live on TikTok and documenting the entire thing. While her two children, one who sustained a life-threatening injury the day before this, are at home sleeping. It's not a responsible move to do. And not only that, but this woman blasted to her million plus following that her two children were home alone in real time. Do you not realize just how dangerous that is to announce that your children are home alone and you are intoxicated across town? While at the bar, Adriel was seen dancing energetically, aka ridiculously, and interacting with a alleged 53-year-old man. Her live streams and TikTok videos captured it all, raising eyebrows among viewers. And let's be real, it's one thing to let loose and have fun, but as an influencer, everything you do is going to be put under a microscope. And ultimately, these types of behaviors, these types of actions, are going to shape how people see you and view you. And like, guys, I honestly am envious that she can be so unapologetically, outrageously outrageous. I envy her lack of shame and humility because wouldn't we all love to be as carefree to actually dance like no one's watching while you're in a crowded club? This whole 
rage bait culture almost feels like a way to shame these people who are going to fall for it. Sure, she's making a ton of money right now, but when one day she looks back on her actions and her digital footprint, I think she's going to have a realization. Either that or she's going to die unapologetically aware, completely tight down alien sort of idea. Because I don't I don't know how someone can post what she posted. She's seen doing dances and just like being taken up space on the dance floor, which like, do you girl? Sure, why not? But then at one point in time, she actually goes and invades this group's personal space and dances up against the table and shakes her ass. And it's like, no, no, ew, no, what are you doing? And also, I don't want to be in your TikTok. Like, I don't want to be filmed. I'm out with my friends or my husband or whoever I'm with. You know what I mean? And she's just laughing it off. And then goes on to say she doesn't believe in hookup culture and doesn't believe in this and that and getting scammed by Uber this night. I got Uber scammed three times tonight. I had to delete the last video because I accidentally posted my address. Oh, we're six foot killer. I need to have to six foot. I'm so done. Guys, I accidentally shared my. <laughs> okay, so I ordered an Uber and it was wrong. Like it showed up to the wrong place. I don't know how that's possible. I got scammed. Then I ordered another Uber and they still didn't show up to the right place. So I ordered another where I wasted $70. 70 But then I showed up at this time at the pool. And then what happens next is the plot twist nobody saw coming. She gets home and who's sitting in her front driveway in front of her house, wherever they were parked? The police. Because TikTokers took it upon themselves to call in a wellness check on her two children since they were left at home unattended. You guys are such jerks. These fucking TikTok trolls. At the same time, I accidentally shared my address. <laughs> my bad. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't see it in the screenshot. I shared uh, an address. This isn't where I live. I'm in the Airbnb. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't live in New York. What? I'm in Philadelphia. Okay, so maybe I should restart this video. <laughs> so I order another Uber upon Uber upon Uber. I ordered three Ubers tonight. And then I get home and the cops are here. So make sure my kids are okay and this hot cop. Like, yeah, walk behind me. Walk behind me. Why did he have to have a partner? Why? I would have rizzed him up like that. I'm the vegan Rizzler. I don't know who you think you're talking to, TikTok, but I am the vegan Rizzler. That guy was so hot. So I get home and after wasting $70 on Uber to a hot cop and his partner knocking on my door, except it was like right here. They were waiting for me to get out of the Uber. And then I get out of the car and they get out of the car. I'm like, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Such a tease. TikTok is teasing me at this point, calling the cops. And then they come to my house and they open my kids' bedroom doors to make sure that they're alive. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Being an influencer is crazy. I would go like this and show you my whole body and be like, crazy, but my pants are off right now and I don't want to be weird. <laughs> Guys, why can't I just go out and have fun once a month, twice a month? Jesus Christ. So um, anyway, if you're single and you don't mind dating an influencer. Huh? Sorry, my bad. Fuck you. Don't forget, guys, this is on the heels of Matt and Abby leaving their toddlers unattended in a cruise ship cabin and, you know, making that a life hack. Now, her children are 12 and 15. In my opinion, I think that is old enough for people to be able to go out and get out of the house for a couple hours. I think a 15-year-old, depending on, you know, every circumstance is different because level of maturities, boy versus girl stuff like that, but 15 and 12 years old, I think that's old enough to leave them for a couple hours. However, however, going to a bar, making a fool of yourself on social media, saying that your children are at home alone, unattended, even not saying it, just, you know, people know you have kids and you're live at the bar right now. Most people aren't dumb. They'll put two and two together that you left your kids at home alone. That is irresponsible. Getting completely hammered when you're their sole caregiver on the heels of a life-threatening accident, that is negligent behavior and so incredibly dangerous and irresponsible. I think that is the worst thing of all. I don't care that she went out with friends. She didn't. She went for a hookup, but whatever. Do you, girl? Sorry, not a hookup. She went to get attention, views. I don't know. I don't know why she went out. Going out having drinks with friends, that's not the issue. Being these children's sole provider and coming home hammered and leaving them alone and saying to your million plus following that your children are home alone is next level. 
and it's inexcusable. Concerned TikTok users worry about the safety of Adriel's children and called the police. This led to a rather unusual claim from Adriel, in my opinion, that I heard that a magnet was used to unlock her door or that they brought a magnet to unlock her door. And he's like, yeah, we got a call, check on the kids, make sure they're okay. So they have this like magnetic, magnetic thing that opens doors that are locked my kids and I sleep with the door locked and they open my kids' door to make sure my kids are okay. I went out at 11, my kids were asleep. I went out for literally three and a half hours, three and a half hours. And um, anyway, when the little magnetic thing, it was insane. I had to wake my kids up in their sleep when I'm literally right here in front of my bed and they had to make sure my kids were okay. Like what? So my kids woke up and said, yeah, we're fine or whatever. Hello, hello. And it's actually insane that two trolls take it this far. Moms are okay to go out once or twice a month and have fun. Like what? My two children who are home are 12 and 14 and they're totally fine. They know if I'm going out and I don't go out that often. But what? What? Oh my God. Anyway, the cop was hot. Anyway. <laughs> which I don't get this comment. Like, I really don't get it. And honestly, after listening to her say that she had to go ahead and wake up her kids anyway, I really don't understand the magnet comment even more so now because if they weren't going to wake the kids, then fair, I guess, sneak in, sneak out, even though that's super creepy. But why did they need the magnets to unlock the doors? And why not just knock on the doors? I, I don't know. They showed up with the magnet tool and she's saying that they unlock the doors and the kids' doors. And I don't know whose door was locked because she says everyone sleeps with the doors locked. So I'm assuming their bedroom doors were locked. Maybe that's why they needed the magnet. But just take like a butter knife. Like why you got a magnet? And go in and, and wake up the kids and do a wellness check on them. Now, frankly, I don't, I don't know. What do you guys think down in the comments? Do you think that this was an appropriate time to call in a wellness check on the children? Do you think that the kids were old enough to be left home alone for a couple hours? Take Adriel out of the situation and everything like that. Do you think 12 and 15 is old enough to be left home alone and go on a date with your spouse? Because we already know that the schmammered and coming home and being sole provider, that's not okay. That's inexcusable. But was it necessary to go so far as to take it real world and call in a wellness check on the children? Because ultimately, she left at 11, kids are in bed, they're sleeping, right? Anything can happen, emergencies can happen, but a 12-year-old and a 15-year-old should know the emergency plan of what to do, especially if she communicated with them. They both have iPhone pros that she bought them a couple months ago with cash from TikTok during her 17 grand month, so... I don't know. I don't know. Again, not going and getting shmammered. That's not okay. Coming home, absolutely hammered out of your mind. Not okay. But like going on a date, 12 and 15, 12 year olds are old enough to babysit other kids for a couple hours, right? With the babysitting course and everything like that. At least in my province, they are. So I don't know. I don't know that I would have necessarily gone so far as to do call the police for a wellness check. However, However, she was severely intoxicated and it's on the heels of her son's life-threatening accident. So that's where I'm conflicted in this whole situation. But I just want to make it clear that no matter who we discuss, I do not condone going real world. Don't touch the poo. Do not touch the poo, please. Ghost them. That's the best thing to do because they're going to stop doing it. But what I was saying about rage bait too earlier, I don't even know. Oh my God, guys. Guys, I'm tired and I only took half my ADHD med today, so I'm like not concentrated. But I feel like with this whole rage bait culture, it's like sh publicly shaming someone and it's such a weird dynamic, you know, you know? Anyways, we're going to get back to the, to the video because I'm rambling and not making any sense. In response to the cops showing up at Adriel's door, she had a rather interesting take on the matter. Instead of taking accountability for her actions, addressing the concern seriously, nope. She decided to thank TikTok trolls for sending what she called a hot cop to her front door and how she was all hot and bothered when she got home and he got out of his car. A really hot cop just came to my house tonight. <laughs> I know most people don't say that, but I want to, like, own him in jujitsu. Fuck, I forgot his name, too. Guys, that cop was hot. Do you think he's on Tinder? Help! There was such a hot cop at my house tonight. Guys, all the TikTok trolls are literally doing Cupid's work. <laughs> you guys are doing it. <laughs> there was such a hot cop at my house tonight. What do you do? I am not a troublemaker. I swear to God. 
I swear. I swear. I'm, I'm like perfectly clean. Pristine. Alkaline water only. And I'm vegan. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. It's like pineapple and maple syrup blended. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little buzzed. Buzz. <laughs> I hope he sees this and adds me. But I'll never know who he is. Because I don't pay attention to who follows me. Guys, that cop was so hot. Someone be him my savior and find that hot cop. I'm vegan though, so. So this is what I'm talking about with the whole rage bait stuff, like thanking the haters for sending a hot cop her way. It's almost like she's turning serious concerns into a punchline or a catchline for her whatever she's creating. And I don't know if it's just not handling scrutiny well or what, but at the same time, she is very unapologetically shameless. It's hard to say if the scrutiny is actually affecting her or if she is literally just doesn't give two Fs and gonna do what she's gonna do and going to clap back twice as hard to the scrutiny. But I think that that is a really dangerous game to be playing, Adriel. Like, that's abort mission, jump off the ship, like, turn around, you turn something, because that is not, that's not the vibe, is what it's not. And to constantly be amping it up and striving for infamy, we've discussed this in the past, this shift from fame to infamy, and a lot of the rage bait is linked into this because that's what's going viral right now. That's what's getting the engagement. That's what's getting people paid is rage bait. And the only way to counteract it is to take back your social media currency. Block, delete, don't even go report anymore. Just block and delete. Get her off the algorithm. The more people that do that and get her out of the algorithm, the more impact it's going to have than commenting a mean comment or whatever the case may be. That's where you hit it hard is in your social media currency. It's with where you spend that. And as we know, this isn't the first time that Adriel has found herself in hot water. Her history of controversies paint a picture of an influencer who's no stranger to bending the truth and pushing boundaries. And she's not alone in this either. There's so many of them in the influencer world that are behaving this way, that are being reckless and irresponsible in front of their following and teaching their following that it's okay and you can make money doing this and you can live the best life doing this type of stuff. And it really raises questions about accountability and taking responsibility for one's actions. And the fact that none of these influencers are held accountable and they are allowed to get away with stuff like this, it's just too much at this point. The fact that she makes as much money as she makes online and behaves this way is too much. This kind of behavior being displayed online, it's such a train wreck of a mess and absolutely wild that people post content like this online consistently too and to be the center and heart of so many controversies and be so hated online because you are just a straight pos it's not sustainable it's just not sustainable at all because eventually either big consequences are going to happen to these people if you look at the youtube channel for those of that for those of you that know and have heard about it daddy 5 they got some real world consequences for their it's just a prank bruh videos and i feel like with that type of content, with the prank content where you're constantly having to one-up yourself, with the rage bait content, these people don't realize the massive consequences that can come from their actions from behaving like this. And I think that social media platforms need to step up and do something about this, not just have AI running the show behind the scenes and have real people reviewing monetized accounts especially on TikTok because, man, what a cesspool that is. There's some epic story times, which you guys are going to see later this week. I have a really good story time for you guys coming up. And uh, there's also some really toxic BS like this. So, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I don't know why. It must be the cord is loose. 
That's why my video is glitching. It's really annoying. But that's all I got for you guys for today for our little Adriel update. I'm going to look into her son's injury, but we all know that she over dramatized it and, you know, made a big deal out of it, made a mountain out of a molehill and it wasn't life threatening because he was home within a few hours. So just saying, just saying, Adriel. I hope you guys did enjoy this little update video. It's a little bit of a snarkier one. Sorry, I haven't been super snarky lately. I do try to keep it you know, professional, but she's just too much. She's just next level. We have to call her out on it because not, I, I, I don't know, maybe it'll bring some change to just how disgusting her behaviors are. Wishful thinking, I guess. You know? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps boost these videos into the algorithm and it really helps out the channel. And it's a free way to help out the channel as well. And I really, truly appreciate it at the end of the day because ultimately I can't be here doing this without you guys here on the journey with me. I appreciate you and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.